Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the Normally Spent Road to Glory. And sadly, this is the first Tuesday where we haven't actually got any new content. And it is, as many of us predicted, we got Season 1 Super Packs. Do exactly the same as last year, VC only, so you kind of hate to see it, not going to lie. Uh, but I'll show you guys all of the players that are in those packs if you are looking at opening some, although I'd strongly recommend against it. Um, and we do have a locker code for a super pack, I think. I think it gives us a chance at a couple of the different packs and then a super pack itself, so... Fingers crossed we can get that and maybe get something good out of it. Uh, today, again, has been a really good day. If you came through to the YouTube stream, then shout out to you. I appreciate you coming through. Another three games of all-time domination, but not only just three games. The all-time Lakers, the all-time Warriors. Two of arguably the hardest all-time domination games done, and it wasn't even a sweat. The team were put together is so damn good and i'm gonna do a video more in depth about that tomorrow uh, and then of course season two is around the corner and i'm so excited for it we've got no new xp challenges today um and again first time all year uh, all all year all season that we haven't got anything on a tuesday so that's kind of dead but it's just kind of wrapping up the season and if they're just dropping season two on friday hopefully they don't take a break in between hopefully it is on friday we get it but we're going to have to wait and see on that one. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily streams and the daily videos. And of course, a must shout out to the goats of the channel. Eric, Cody, Jason, Spooky, Callum, Caleb, Aiden, Dubs, and Andrew. Thank you guys so damn much for your support. Andrew, congrats on getting your Steph Curry. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to join as well, there's a join button down below. If not, top line of the description, click on that and it will show you how to do it. So there is a limited time event. I didn't even clock this. Um, 200 bonus MT for every challenge win. Yay. Uh, daily stuff today, 10 points in Unlimited, no. And then I got these two without even realising, so it does put us over that 110,000 XP mark. But yeah, nothing new. So uh, there is quite a lot of XP we could get here, but I mean, it's just it's just too late. If they dropped something that was like a 5 k -er or something like that, like a last minute uh, push for those who wanted to do it, then I, I maybe would have done. But the fact they haven't done anything is kind of like meh. And it's kind of like a GG at this point. So anyway, we move on. Domination. That's right. Look at this. Look at the progress. So we've been the Warriors, Steph, Clay, Chris Mullen, Rick Barry, and a 98 rated Wilt Chamberlain. Beat them. And you can see my team that I used right there. That was really good. Uh, we also beat the Clippers with uh, CP3, Kawhi, El Brown, Blake, and Bob McAdoo. That game wasn't too bad. Um, and then the Lakers against Magic, Jerry West, Kobe, Kareem, Shaq. Bro, that team is ridiculous. And also, in the Warriors team, they have a pink diamond KD that comes off the bench. That's how good that team is. Uh, but yeah, thankfully, you managed to win them all. I was getting about 1,200 MT per game, so wasn't even close uh, to not hitting the threshold. So that was brilliant. So we need one more game for the Pacific Division, which is another 15 tokens. See right there, we're on 194. Let's get it. And then when we get through these five, that is going to be our first 15 completed, which means we get ourselves a diamond tiny Nate. Which is fun, absolutely fantastic. So we should be getting him on Thursday. Because we'll do three games tomorrow, three games Thursday. And we've got a Diamond Tiny Nate coming our way. So that's very good. I'm really, really happy with the progress we've been making in all time. And you can probably tell just in the way I am in these videos now. It's just a lot better now. Now I can actually win the games. Um, just feeling so much more happy about actually playing it and grinding it out. And uh, it's stacking us up with those tokens big time. And let's not forget, when we get to 66 stars... Uh, oh no, when we get to 33, we get a bonus 15. 66 stars is 10k, and obviously 99 is that pink diamond George Mike, and uh, we've got the three decades teams right there, which are very tough, but we should be able to do it. Uh, hopefully when we get there, we will have a very good team. Um, yeah, nothing here though, we're not going to do anything down there. Screw that. Uh, we've got these packs to open up, let's see if we can get a uh, badge in these. Do we get badges in these packs? I don't think so, actually. Oh no, we do. Alright, Bronze Lob City Finisher. Not really the best one in the world. Um, can we clutch it out with like an Intimidator or a Clamps or a Range? No, it's a Giant Slayer. That ain't it, Chief. Uh, but all badges are good. They're all expensive. And for next season's exchange, who knows what we go going to need. And a Bronze Slippery Off Ball, that's a meh. But I will take it. I will very much take it. So this is the squad that I used um, after the game against the Lakers. For the Lakers, I used up Dwayne Wade for his last game and Amare for his last game. Um, oh, I've got Larry Bird. I didn't even realise that. 
All right, well, I guess I could bring Larry Bird in, but I don't really need him right now because this team is just ridiculous. Uh, so now we're running Gus Williams, Michael Cooper, Bobby Jones, Bob Lanier, and Tyson Chandler. And let me tell you, these two guys in here purely for defense, they don't really do anything. But Bob Lanier, Tyson Chandler, and Gus Williams, all three of them in every single game, I think, all finish with double-doubles. Obviously, Gus Williams points and assists these guys with points and rebounds. And Tyson Chandler is an absolute demon. Says he's only played two games. He has only played two games because the first one, Bob Lanier, was still at the centre position. And we had Amari at the powerful position. So in two games, 19 points and 14 and a half rebounds with three and a half blocks. Bob Lanier, now six games, 23 points, 12 rebounds, three blocks. These guys are so damn good. Uh, so really, really happy with that. Michael Cooper, like I said, he's just coming in just for defense. You know, he gets six and five. Not really much to say about that. And Bobby Jones, pretty similar, I think. Yeah, five and two. He's just kind of there. But Gus Williams just does the lot. 11 games, 22 and 11 averaging. Two steals as well. That, that team has really uh, made life so much easier for me, which I'm so damn happy about. Uh, and there's that Michael Cooper. So, yeah, no new set down here, which kind of does stink. I'm not going to lie. I've been looking forward to the new content, but I think we all kind of knew because today or last Tuesday, we had the last set, which was the playoff records. Gave us a Derek Fisher, which then locked in for the Pink Diamond Dr. J. And it was a final spotlight set as well that locked in for the... Uh, Diamond Bill Russell. So we kind of knew today was going to be nothing. It was going to be super packs. And here they are. So one player and four random items with a guaranteed player from all of the season that won. One will rise releases. Now, they have changed this now, which is good. But when these packs first came out, they only showed the diamonds and the pink diamonds. Which is just... Oh, it's so, it, it really angers me because there's so many people that would have been... Looking at this, they click view available limited time cards and they see that it's only diamond and pink diamond. They're going to think it's a guaranteed diamond pack. They're going to open a pack or waste their money and uh, it's just false advertising. That's just what it is. Uh, there's no two ways about it. Uh, but now they have added in the full list of players you can get. Um, but yeah, it's still just a really poor thing to do. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth that they do things like that. Whether by mistake or not, doesn't matter. It's still a problem. And if another company did it, they'd probably issue an apology straight away because it's false advertising. But we're going to skirt past that because they've done it many times before and no doubt they'll do it many times again. Anyway, let's get back on track here. Let's try and keep it positive. Uh, so you could get a gold card as your diamond, uh, as your guaranteed, not as your diamond, as your guaranteed card. It could be a gold card. It's pretty bad, pretty, pretty bad, pretty trash. As uh, emeralds in these, sapphires, a couple of rubies, a couple of amethysts, some nice amethysts to be fair. There are a lot of diamond cards, but if you want to know the odds, 5%. 5% at getting a diamond card, 48% chance of a ruby or above. So, yeah, if you want to open packs, go for it, but just don't. They don't deserve it, man. They don't deserve it. Like I said, I had people in my stream being like, damn, these are guaranteed diamond packs. And I was like, what? No, they're not. I came over and looked at them and I was like, okay, I can see why you thought that, but I'm here to tell you that ain't the case. That ain't the case, so yeah, not ideal, I'm not going to lie, but it's just another thing this year, isn't it? Anyway, we do have a locker code, so let's go ahead and put this in and see if we can get ourselves a super pack that we don't have to spend 11,000 VC on, which is like £3 or whatever uh, for one pack, because I don't want to do that. Uh, so one will rise and then super pack, so it pretty much ends season one. I don't think we're going to get any more challenges now um, before Friday, so I think whatever challenges are there right now... If you want to get Steph, you're going to have to do... You have to make do with what we got there. I think there'll be nothing new. So we've got Manu, Dominique, Flash 1, Clutch, Season 2. Oh, there's not even a super pack on here. Oh, well, that's... What? I'm sure that I'm sure it advertised a super pack. Yeah, we literally put in the code, One Will Rise Super Pack. <laughs> and there's no super pack. That don't make no sense. But anyways... Uh, who do we want? Ideally a Dominique pack. Flash one's not bad. I, I want a Dominique or a Flash. Oh, don't, 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 don't. We got screwed with a clutch pack last time. Bro, two locker codes in a row. You gonna do me like this? All right, whatever. Cool, chill. Oh, that's what I get for talking bad on them, I guess. All right, whatever. It's calm. It's a Paul George. To be fair, a Paul George might have some value. Why do I, why do I have a Paul George? Why do I have a Paul George? 
Did I buy him to use him? Because if I did, then I need to sell him because he's like 5k? Oh god, I said it tentatively because I thought it was going to be wrong. It's very wrong. He's like 2k. Okay, well I might as well keep hold of him because you never know, next season he might get some challenges or something. And we got, yeah, that's what we got last pack in the clutch one. We got Robert Ori. That's trash. Really hope you guys uh, have a better luck than that, not going to lie. Uh, but a couple of questions I saw floating around on Twitter earlier today were what is going to stay and what is going to go when Friday rolls around. So you can see the timer right there, two hours, 21 hours. Two hours? Two days, 21 hours, nine minutes as of me recording this. That is when season one is done. Um, so triple threat, they're going to add wins on top of the threshold that's already here. So the next threshold, I believe, will be 300 wins to 450. So for me at 39, if I want to get to the next reward at 450 wins, I've got to win 411 games. I can't just win 150. But the people at JaVale, they've only got to do 150 for next season. That is how that's going to work. Domination is not going to go anywhere. Don't you worry about that. Will they add a new one? It's possible. Um, if we come over here and have a look at the lifetime, you can see there is 594 stars. So they're going to have six by the end of the year. Will they add one straight off uh, Rip of Season 2? I don't think so. Um, I think it'll probably be Season 3, Season 4, and Season 5. But they could do 2, 3, and 4. I don't know. So Domination is going to stay there, so don't worry about that. And I would still recommend doing all-time Domination because I do think it is worth it. Weekly Challenges, they should stay. Uh, not that they are of use to literally anybody. Uh, why did we start with two tokens and it went down to one? Oh, because there were two games. All right, fair, fair, fair. But yeah, 300 MT, like, get in the bin. Uh, spotlight Challenges. These will be disappearing. These will be gone. So if you do want to get your hands on the Diamond Bill Russell over here, if you've got like four of these done, do the last one because it will disappear. He will not be available. 2K, my team, their Twitter account tweeted out saying available until Friday or whatever the date is on Friday. I don't know what date it is, but they tweeted out. So these will disappear and will be uh, replaced by another set of five, I would assume, uh, for season two. So yeah, be prepared. If you've got like four done, don't let it go to waste. If you've got like three done, don't let it go to waste. Grind out the last few, get yourself your Bill Russell because uh, you done not deserve it. Moment challenges, they'll probably get refreshed. I mean, these are all completely pointless anyway. Uh, you should never do these. This is such a waste of time. Moments and weekly challenges this year have been an absolute disgrace and a disaster. This Damien Lillard challenge will go away as well, I believe. I assume it will do anyway, because this was literally on day one. So I'll only assume that the Signet Challenge is going to go ahead and refresh itself. It's got Dame on there, but I think that's probably all time he's there. Was it advertised in the season poster? I think it was. I think it was advertised, so I think that will disappear. Uh, multiplayer, Unlimited, will reset. You're going to go down to the first level again, I would only assume. Because surely it can't keep you at the... It might keep you the tier you're at, but knowing how they're resetting everything else, hmm, I don't know on, on, on Unlimited. They haven't actually spoken about it, but for Limited, obviously, you're just going to go back to having no rings. You'll have to do another six weekends of that. Triple that online won't change at all because there's nothing to change. But yeah, I don't know about Unlimited. That's the only one I'm not actually sure about, and uh, that's because they haven't really communicated it. But there will be a new 12 0 player. Whether or not you'll be allowed to stay in the same tier, I don't know. But if you can, I guess that's a dub. I don't know, because then you'd miss out on all the rewards, wouldn't you? Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, so, yeah, a couple of things there to take note of. Uh, challenges, I would say, is the, the one thing you really need to focus on, spotlight challenges. Uh, and if you're on Triple Threat Offline, just know that uh, whatever the new cards are, you're going to be a long way away. If you're anywhere near where I am right now, which is 39 wins. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Tomorrow, we'll be back live on the stream for another three games of all time. So if you want to see me rocking out and uh, breezing through these games, which we have been breezing through, which is awesome, Make sure you come through. That's going to do it, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.